Hi subscribers, it's Jeff here, Tuesday night, um, just back from work, and at lunch I was fortunate enough to go to HMB and pick up the new release of Iron Maiden, Made in England, 88. This is a re-release for the band for an historic concert that was done in 1988 on the Seven Sun, Sun Tour. Basically three formats came out, double CD, double picture disc vinyl, and double DVD. So today I was lucky enough to pick up the DVD and the vinyl. Now, I was gonna pick up the CD, and once I got to the store, I saw that they had the vinyl, and the packaging looked so cool, uh, I took a chance. Um, I should mention that I took a big chance, because I was, uh, I actually had bought the albums that were reissued on picture disc, I bought the first two, the first debut and killers in order in order to get the, the box, the black box that they were giving away as a promo. And when I ended up playing them, I was a little bit disappointed by the sound. Um, there was a lot of surface noise, a lot of that drone or hum that often plagues picture discs, but they were really apparent on the, on the Maiden releases and a lot of crackle and pops and, and so forth. Um, they're still enjoyable, they're cool to have because the first two are, you know, some of my favorite Maiden albums. They're classics, called piano singing. So I took a chance, and I have to say, in the moment the needle hit the final for this release, I was really impressed. I think they learned something from the last batch of release that they did. There's not as much surface noise. The sound, as you can hear, I'm playing disc one right now very clear, there's no clipping, no distortion, some nice clarity, the vocals are nice and clear, not too in the, not too much in the front, the guitars are really nicely balanced, and the drums, Nico's drums, the rolls sound really good. So I'm going to get right into the packaging, really, really super packaging, but we can come to expect that from our Maiden. This is the uh, front cover of the vinyl, this is the back showing um, what, what's on each disc with a, a nice live shot of the band from 88. My only gripe is the inside of the gatefold. I was anticipating a nice live shot from, from 88, but it's actually just uh, another picture from the cover, as you can see, albeit with a little bit more detail there. Uh, more cannons here at the bottom, a little bit more of, a, of an action shot. I was kind of hoping for a live shot, I'll be honest, but um, it's cool. The stock is very, very nice and thick cardboard, nice gloss to the cover. This is a uh, England press, so I was happy about that. And the inner sleeves, the first one is just a series of live shots from the show. The second part is just text, lyrics, and the songs. The sleeve holding the second is a nice live shot of the band here towards the finale during our Maiden. You can see the band here. You can see the eddy come up at the top with the pyro going off. Very nice shot. It could be a little clearer, uh, but it's, it's still really cool. Same thing here. Nice text on the back. Getting into the uh, LP. One's playing now. And uh, the second one, just to give you an example, this is really nice. This is like, for those of you who have the uh, Seven Sun of the Seven Sun album, this is the what's inside the crystal ball that Eddie is looking into. And the other side, I'm really happy they included this because for those of you who had the VHS to this show that was originally released back in the 80s, this was the front cover, made in England. Um, and so they've kind of updated the cover a bit with the Eddie on the horse, kind of uh, in the style of the Trooper. So I'm kind of happy that they incorporated the original uh, picture there on the uh, second disc. And this is very, very cool. I will say that the LPs are perfectly flat, beautiful, uh, no pops or clicks. I mean, there was the odd little pop right at the beginning of uh, Moonchild, but you know, with a little cleaning and placement and anti-static sleeves, that'll take care of it. I'm just, I'm just really impressed with the sound, and I hope that people go out and, and if, if they were thinking of getting the vinyl, but a little bit turned off based on the releases that Maiden did um, a couple of months back, 
Um, you should not be put off. Uh, I have to say, it's very, very well done, and the sound is great. And this is a great live show. I mean, this is this is a classic set list. If you figure the Prisoner, which we're hearing right now, Still Life, Off Peace of Mind, Die with Your Boots On, um, Iron Maiden, Run to the Hills. Th this is something I should mention actually, because on the VHS, the show ended with Iron Maiden. The, the, the show did not include the actual encores of uh, Run to the Hills, Running Free, and Sanctuary. They've been placed back into the show, both on the DVD and the CD, and as well as the vinyl. So they're there as three kind of bonus tracks. Um, the, what I actually like about the vinyl is that other than the three last bonus songs that included the actual original um, uh, end of the show that Maiden did during the encores, they actually kept the original stereo mix by Martin Birch, which is really, really good. Um, it's only the last three songs that were done by um, Kevin Shirley, remixed for the release. So that's the vinyl. Couldn't be more happier. Uh, just a great, great release. Very well done. I also picked up the DVD. I plan to spin this um, a little bit later tonight. I just wanted to kind of take in the vinyl and see how it sounded. Very, very excited about this. This is the actual show from 88 on the Seventh Son of the Seventh Son Tour. And the bonus disc um, is a new documentary of the band talking about basically that period of Maiden, uh, 86, 87, 88, somewhere in time, and Seventh Son of the Seventh Son. They tag on um, a documentary called 12 Wasted Years. I actually have this on VHS. It's uh, making its first appearance on DVD, it was never available before on DVD. So that'll be interesting to see. And um, the promo videos at the end. Wasted Years, Stranger in a Strange Land, Can I Play With Madness, The Evil That Men Do, and The Clairvoyant. Uh, read already a couple of the re reviews of uh, friends of mine on the stevehoffman.com uh, website saying very, very well done. The uh, show was updated for DVD release, really clear, sound is good, but uh, in all honesty, I think I'm gonna delve into the second disc tonight and uh, save the live show for tomorrow or the weekend. Uh, one quick little thing before I go, uh, HMV was giving some little promo pins, I thought that was kinda cool. Iron Maiden little pin, so when you bought one of the formats, they gave you this at the cash. So, I thought that was cool. So I'll leave you with that. Uh, I haven't done a video in a while. Uh, I've actually been kind of busy with uh, my gear. New receiver, I've made a video on uh, that separately, but this is my new Pioneer receiver. And of course, my new speakers, the IMX CM2s from England. Really, really enjoying the sound. And before I sign off, I'll just leave you with a little thing that's spinning right now. There's the vinyl. So that's the actual vinyl, uh, that's side A, and it's basically the cover of the album. So I'm really, really, really enjoying the release. So anyways, I hope everyone's doing well. I'm going to probably be back this weekend um, doing a little video of my recent finds. Picked up a lot of cool stuff lately, and um, so we'll get into that this weekend. Uh, I noticed that I'm already up to 105 subscribers. I think that's incredible. Um, I'd like to thank everybody who's um, subscribed to my channel. I hope you like this video uh, for those of you who are Iron Maiden fans. And uh, I'm going to take off now and enjoy the rest of this album. So have a good night, everyone, and um, we'll uh, catch up soon. Bye.